Welcome back, folks, to the Light Ed Online Video Show. This episode of the show and every episode in 2021 is brought to you by the easy folks. That's right, keeping it easy. Down at Keystone Technologies. You got to go to K-E-Y-S-T-O-N-E-T-E-C-H dot com. Keeping it easy, Greg. Light made easy from Keystone. They've got every type of LED tube you need, every type of LED fixture you need, indoor, outdoor. They've got it all. Check them out. K-E-Y-S-T-O-N-E-T-E-C-H dot com. I was just there this morning. Just went there this morning. You know what they had? They have an 18-inch bypass LED tube. Oh, is that high? nice? Yeah. Yeah. Worked yeah, out great nice. for me. <laughs> there you go. Sold it. Yep. All right. So we talk a lot of, or you mentioned it probably the most, is that is that we're out swinging through knives, or what do you say, knife? Swinging through the trees, trees. with knives in our teeth? Yes. Yeah. So you're, you're hunting, right? However you're doing it, you, you need that knife maybe to hunt. You don't always need it, but you're swinging around. You're getting after it. You're hunting. Sure. Okay. So now as a lighting salesperson, we're going to put that hat on right now, is, is you're out still trying to sell lighting deals. Mm -hmm. And when you have lighting deals, um, you deal with a variety of clients, like I do, like everybody that sells lighting does. You have small ones. You have big ones. You have everything in between. But, you know, something that as we get more experienced in it, and you start looking at these different accounts. They're all kind of, they're all similar to some degree, right? A small one sometimes is the same sales process as a large one. So, and everything in between. So I started looking at these and saying, these big accounts, what's wrong with going after them? You know, what's wrong with going whale hunting? You call it whale hunting, like going after the big Ooh. whales, right? <laughs> like why, why not do that more often? And, and, you know, like our companies are a little smaller regional players. Other companies, that's all they do. And so I, I had to look into whales a little bit. I don't know a lot about them. I'm guessing you know some random weird facts, but let me tell you, there are two types of whales. There's toothed and there's baleen, B-A-L-E-E-N. All right? Yeah. And the toothed whales are, there's 90% of the whales out there are toothed. 10% are baleen. And all I know is that the baleen ones are the huge, like the, the big monster beast. whales. Monster whales. So you talk about that 80-20. This is 90-10, so it's close. Yeah, yeah. But in terms of whales, are there different types of whales out there? I think there are. I'm trying to break it into the lighting world and see what, what makes sense. Because I've seen, you know, there's whales where it's like one big massive location. And then there's whales where there's a lot of big locations, a lot of massive locations, or several of them. You know, and, and the process is the same. And sometimes if you have one one person that can get you all those deals... Why not focus more time on that? Or maybe everybody is focusing more. Maybe I need to focus more. Where are we at with the whale hunting, Mike? What do you do on this lighting world? So for me, Canada is very regional. It's not just like regionally, like there's nothing in between Ontario and BC. Like there's just very little there in Winnipeg yeah. and Saskatoon. And these are very small cities. Uh -huh. So you're out there, you're talking natural resources and stuff like that. And so Canada itself doesn't play well for that strategy. But if you're in the U.S., man, uh, that's a totally different animal. Bank branches, for example, is a great business to get. The problem I always found is that, um, you know, there's a type of salesperson that goes after those types of accounts. And I always find that there's like, whenever you have a, Let's say you have a big factory in some small town. A hundred guys have been in there trying to sell them, you know? Yeah. And so my power zone, I like the I like the I like the ten to fifty thousand dollar lighting deal. Like to me, like well, I'll make the same amount on a twenty thousand dollar deal that I make on a hundred thousand dollar deal. Like the net profit right. ends up being the same for me. And people say, Well, it's it's more work for less revenue. I think it's more work for I think it's less work for more profit. Um, True. because we, we like, we like to focus on the, uh, from our perspective, we like to focus on, um, you know, the, the one-off medium sized industrial warehouse factory kind of deal. That's right in our power zone. They will, they like our level of knowledge, the localness, they're local, we're local to go after the whales. I think you're entering a lower gross profit position. I think a lot of the whales like to know, who, like my customers don't even know what they're buying half the time. True. Just say, trust you to give them the right product. You but they don't even know LED. what they, yeah. yeah. If they, if they ask for a cut sheet, we strip that cut sheet of everything on it. That yeah. means anything. 
Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like we leave the specifications of the fixture, but we literally take the brand name off of it. We take the, you don't understand what I'm saying? Like we re-edit that cut sheet so that they only know. So we, we keep our, like our, and our customers like are doing business with us. They're not doing business with Acuity. Whereas I think if you're going to get after the whales, you need to have a really strong relationship then with like a Hubble and Acuity, a Keystone, like somebody where you're approaching them with a large brand and then you're kind of positioning yourself beside them and i think the margins are lower but maybe i'm wrong i don't know no you're yeah you're right from the experience i've had you know being in the u.s we do some of that and and i've had reps that have done that in the past and i have reps that have focused only on that it's great when it works right you Mm -hmm. hit that whale you get it you got an awesome year i've had i've had reps that went from a million dollar sales in a year or plus million dollar plus one account the next year, zero. Zero? You know, like minimal. I mean, zero. Not zero, but minimal. I yeah, mean, yeah, like, sure. You know, like 10 per, 100 grand, you know, total, million to 100,000 in sales in, in one year just because of one customer. And you focus all your time and effort on that, what's going to happen? So to me, the whale hunting is, is something that's necessary and, and it's fun and, and it can be done. And, and, it, and it's not much different. Uh, a lot of times I'm finding at least that it's not all that much different from some of the other sales you're doing. But if you focus all of your time and effort on that, you're gonna you're gonna live or die by that, and mm-hmm. and it and it might be pretty easy to die. I'd rather not die right away, so I want to keep a nice balance. So I think it's important to go after them, know that they're out there, have the knowledge to be able to do it, have the background and ability to do everything that you need to to go after it, and and maybe pick you know a few targeted accounts, you know one two a month, whatever it might be, and then do everything else you can in between. To continue sales because you need ongoing sales. You can't just rely on these. Otherwise, you're not going to make it. And I've seen a lot of people not make it because that's what they relied on. I think that's like that. I think that's the difference between what an agency is good at and what a distributor is good at. You know, and we're sure. both lighting distributors, right? And so, you know, like I always thought that my lighting distribution business was well diversified. You know, I sold so many restaurants and hotels. <laughs> <laughs> right you know what i'm talking about <laughs> i had yeah. sold so many of those i thought oh ah, you know what how can i go wrong everything's rocking and rolling all these hotels are ordering lights for me they keep asking about led we try a few things and they go back to halogen because they want the dimming in the in the dining room to be beautiful and so we had all these hotels and cfls and leds and all this sort of stuff and guess what that got blown out of the water um mm-hmm. and down I, I don't know about 90 percent anymore but maybe still down like 70, 85%. A lot of them didn't pay their bills, you know? So I thought I was diversified. But no, diversification distributors, um, for the distributor side, a distributor wants diversification because they have a warehouse, because they have stock they want to sell. And then the project side is like an extension of that into their customer base where the people they sold light bulbs to are the best candidates for that. Over time, you build up the knowledge, you become really good at projects. And maybe you have a guy that goes out, goes whale fishing, goes whale hunting once in a while. He's got a big trident and he's like stabbing the whales, <laughs> trying to hit the whales, right? And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, but, you know, you don't want to live or die with that for me as a distributor. Now, maybe the agencies right. out there, maybe that's a good play for them. They have distributor customers, they're going after the big accounts. You know, and yeah, so it's, it's, I always found that the best way to do that was through partnership. So where I would partner with a, a group or a company or something that would, you know, go after a utility, say, and say, you know, we're going to do a program for you guys. And I did very, I did all the work and they did all the sales. You know what I mean? I yep. supplied all the lights, the recycling, the installation, everything, got everything done. And they, they just talked to the utility. Um, and so that worked great for me in those times, but thank God I didn't just rely on that or I'd be out of business now. I continued sure. my other sales streams, my supply. So whale hunting's fun. I think you might want to have a guy who hunts for the whales, but I don't think you want to, as a distributor, you don't want to be totally reliant on, on whale hunting. I'm you gotta, you gotta, gotta keep eat, it diverse, but you, you gotta eat what you kill. It's always better to stay easy. Keep it easy. You well diversified. You do that. Keystone's got a lot of stuff. Like we said at the beginning of the show, nice 18-inch LED bypass T8. I was like, who's got it? And I went 
said, you know, I bet you Keystone's got it. And they had it. Boom. In two colors, too. 84830. So go to K-E-Y-S-T-O-N-E-T-E-C-H dot com. That's KeystoneTech.com.